Hi, I'm Matt Highland. And I'm Emily Highland. And we're uh, co-owners of Emily Restaurant in Clinton Hill. And we are Star Chef 2017 New York Rising Stars. We're here today to use the Vitamix XL to make some Rhode Island style calamari. All right, let's go do it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um, I like using chickpea flour for the uh, calamari, it's nice and crisp. Uh, I like the Vitamix because uh, it's just very powerful. Uh, most other blenders just really can't make chickpeas into a flour. It just really comes down to the, to the functionality of this piece of equipment, which is great. Nice, beautiful, fine chickpea flour right here. This will be great for the calamari. So right now we're gonna make olive puree for the calamari. We have some nice black olives here that have already been pitted. And a little bit of parsley. So we'll get this started right now. There we go, we get our olives going. We'll take the lid plug off. And then drizzle in some nice olive oil. Speed it up a little bit. There we go. I like how this olive puree is nice and smooth. Uh, it's slightly emulsified by chopping the olives first, then pouring the olive oil in slowly. Um, it really has a nice consistency to go on top of the calamari. And next we have our banana peppers, generally used for Italian combo sandwiches, but it goes great on calamari. We're gonna have our peppers uh, rough chopped in the Vitamix XL. I like the Vitamix XL, has a nice variable speed to it. Um, I don't have to put it on super high to get a puree, I can just put it on low or the pulse button to just make it rough chop like I need it to. As you can see here, it's very finely chopped but not a smooth paste. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fry off some of our parsley here, really quick. Next we have our squid. We're gonna throw it in the chickpea flour. And put a lot on to make sure it's nicely covered. The squid is frying up nicely now. It's getting nice and golden. It's all done. I'll shake off some of the oil. Put calamari in. And about half of the parsley. Salt. So now we're going to finish plating the calamari. We have some of our chunky banana peppers. Okay, we have our olive puree. The banana peppers and the olive puree have a nice combination of being salty, spicy, and very pungent. It goes nice with the crispy calamari. Next, we have a little bit of kewpie mayo. It's a nice richness to the calamari and the banana peppers. Some more fried parsley, just to give it a little more crunch. A little greenery as well, because it is healthy, right? We're gonna microplane a lemon, a little acidity to this, and then a lemon wedge. There we go, there's our calamari. This is our Rhode Island style calamari made using the Vitamix XL.